Okay. Good? Okay. All right, so this is your video about exponents. Now we have done exponents before. We spent a couple of weeks on them back in last term. And of course we did them when we did our order of operations too. So quick review, an exponent is multiplication, but it's expressed with two numbers where you've got the base on the bottom and then the exponent is the little number on the top. The base is the number that is being multiplied and the exponent is telling you how many times to multiply the base. Both of those numbers together create what's called a power and it's written in exponential form. So let's look at an example of that. So here is an exponent. You've got your base of three and your exponent of four written together, that's power. Three to the power of four written in exponential form with the big three and the little four. But it can also be written another way. Since exponents are multiplication, they can be written or expressed as repeated multiplication. So in this case, when you take your three to the power of four and you write it out as an actual multiplication question, you take that three and you multiply it four times. So you need to have four threes multiplied together. So three times three times three times three. That's the repeated multiplication. And like we've seen before all year, standard form just means the answer. So if your papers are asking you to find standard form, what you're trying to do is actually do the multiply. The easiest way to do that is take the power, split it up into repeated multiplication, and then find your standard form answer. So in your notebooks, it's way easier to write it like this where you've got three to the power of four, and then you split it up into your repeated multiplication, and then just take it one multiplication question at a time. So three times three is nine, use your chart to help you. And then nine times three is 27, that's on your chart as well. But you are gonna to get to larger numbers that aren't gonna be on your multiplication chart. So 27 times three, not on your chart, you're going to need to do an outside calculation to figure that out. So you take your 27, you multiply it by the last three. Three times seven is 21, carry your two. Three times two is six, plus the two that you carried is eight. So 81 is your standard form answer. So this is what a lot of your, multi a lot of your exponent questions are gonna look like in your notebook. Now, the first couple of pages of your homework package, where it says on page one, write the exponent, page one, write the base, obviously those are questions where you're just decomposing and figuring out what parts are the exponent. You don't have to answer those ones like this. So let's do a couple of examples from page one. So we're on page one. We're going to do question number one. No. So question number one is asking you, write the exponent. So if I have four to the power of five, the exponent is the five. So five is the exponent. That's what you would write down for question number one. You don't need to do the multiplication because it's not asking you to find standard form. It's not asking you to find the answer, it's asking you to identify the exponent. So take a look at question number nine. Same thing, write the base. This one I've got four to the power of two. The base is the bigger number on the bottom, so I know that four is the base. So some of the questions, you don't have to do the multiplication. You just have to figure out what is the question actually answer, asking you. 
This one's only asking you to identify the exponents. These ones are asking you to identify the base. And if you take a look at number 17, that one is just asking you to write it as repeated multiplication. So if I have 5 to the 2, and I need to write that as repeated multiplication, 5 times 5, 2 fives times together. And then the last example that we're going to do is 25. So on page 1, number 25, it says write an exponential form. So that means you have to write it like a power. And so they give you 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And you need to write it as a power in exponential form. So I know that two is my base, it's the thing that's being multiplied, but how many twos do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So my exponent's gonna be six. So for 25 to 30, this is how you're gonna do it. And we still haven't even done any multiplication yet. You just need to identify the bits and pieces of what makes exponents work. When you get down to number 39, that's when you are gonna start doing the multiplying. So you can see that from then on, it's right in standard form. So that's find the answer. All right, so if you have any questions about exponents, of course, get in touch with myself and I will help you answer any questions. And we'll be uploading a video tomorrow about order of operations and bed mass to help you with that as well.